exactly. Hopefully they ship me all the right stuff. Should be a motor mount. More O-rings and more O-rings and more O-rings. Tons of junk. Okay, there's our two dipstick sleeves. They call them dipstick funnels. Um, there's all the O-rings I needed. Intake and exhaust manifold gaskets. Um, and motor mount. Now, the reason I went and bought this thing here, I'll show you. That's the water neck that goes on the back of the head. Heater hose pipes, plug for the sensors, and then that's the top radiator hose right there. Um, I needed that O-ring. Okay. Now, some of these on the inside of here fall apart. Because of the heat and the antifreeze, you would think that piece would be pretty expensive. Um, believe it or not, that's the new one. So it's just like that. This plug goes in that hole and then there's a tap. It just has no ring on it, just seals it. Three bucks. And it comes with an O-ring. Plus I got water pump o-rings and the intake and exhaust gaskets and the motor mount and these dipsticks um, what these are is the steel tube that comes up out of the oil pan they call these funnels this part snaps into the dipstick part that comes out of the oil pan and then you shove your dipstick down in there these things are notorious for breaking. They're two bucks. They're probably ten or fifteen at Volkswagen. This motor mounts over a hundred bucks on the internet. I give twenty-nine dollars for it. It was fifty bucks. Actually fifty dollars and twenty cents for everything because if you buy fifty dollars worth of shit, they ship it for free. Okay? If you buy forty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents worth of stuff, it's nineteen bucks to ship it. So I bought the extra o the extra that extra o-rings I went ahead and just bought these two gaskets and we may get to work on this car today all right there's our box of parts all right this coolant tube is bent so I'm gonna go ahead and get this off of there and get it swapped out for a decent one I'm sure I can find one in my pile of parts and then uh, we'll get ready to start putting the rest of this back together <clears throat> That's why you got to be careful pulling on this stuff. It's old and brittle. It broke, so I had to get this other one off of here. That's the valve off the back of the motor that we don't need anymore. I'm going to plug that off. On these other motors, that is plugged off. Got that lead plug right there. So I'll come up with this piece of quarter plate. That's the gasket. I'm going to drill three holes in it for the bolts, and then I'm going to cut that all down and get it ready for the back of the motor. All right, that's the last remnants of an automatic. I just had to make sure we had clearance there. That's the new neck. i got to swap the two plugs that go in here, which take about two seconds. I've got new O-rings, and then uh, put some more parts on. All right, in order to change these, you just have these clips. Um, don't lose these clips now. These just pop out. Okay. Old corroded ass. Okay. This one here is the same way as Pop the clip out, don't lose that clip. Okay. 
make sure you put this plug in the same way. Okay? Now, throw it in our box. I know it's hard to see. It's hard for me to do this and not have the camera in my hand. Pop that O ring off of there. That O ring off of there. Pretty clean. <sighs> Get two O rings out of the bag. Okay, and what I do. all she wrote folks all right getting ready to put this motor in got my trouble light see if it comes on when she plugs it up and uh, put the torque converter in it and we will see if we have light pull the chain oh we have light all right we'll be back all right, after about an hour's worth of work, we got it in, bolted up. Got uh, motor mounts. That one's replaced. That was the bad one. Ground wire hooked up. Now it's just a matter of bolting the accessories on and getting all the little shit. Start one bolt at a time. That's about it. All right, I got all that accessory plate put on, the water pump, power steering pump, the alternator, the idler. I got my hoses fixed, what I needed to. I got my intake manifold, cooling pipe, all that stuff's going on this car. Fuel rail, new gaskets, that's my cooling fan. And then we got to put the turbo on and the exhaust pipe. We'll work on that tomorrow, but I got this stripped down as much as I'm going to strip it down. And then when I get a chance, I'm going to take this one apart and buy a headset for it and put it back together and either sell it or keep it for a spare. But we plug and add it one piece at a time. I got the starter on, tranny bolted up, the torque converter bolts up. Starter down there. Cables all hooked up. Got to go to town in the morning and get an oil filter, some oil, brake cleaner. I want to spin this over for a couple of minutes before I ever even think about starting it. You know, I want to put some oil in it, just spin it over with no spark plugs in it. That's about it. Pre filling the oil filter before we put it on. Then I'll crank it with oil in it with the spark plugs out so I can get some oil pressure built up before we start it. Alright, as you can see, I'm getting everything hooked up. Got the intake on, torque down, fixing to put the top coolant pipe on, injector rail, got the alternator hooked up, wired up, fuel oil filter on. Uh, you know, you just one part at a time is all you can do. All right, what I got to do is I got to re-weld that bolt there and then reconnect these exhaust pipes. So I got my welder out and we're going to get at it. All right, I got that fixed. That's all welded up all the way around. Went ahead and retacked all the bolts. That way next time they won't come out. All right, I got my pipe welded up. My trusty little welder. And I gotta turn the gas off. This one actually has a gas kit for the shielding. I've had that thing for like 10 years. 
That was good on small stuff. It's only 110 volts, so there's my tacked on studs. And then uh, we just slip it all back together. I gotta get a coupler tomorrow to slip over this so I can join these two pieces because it's too hard to weld with it on the floorboard right here. So uh, we'll just go ahead and get a coupler, you know, and then tack it in really good and it'll be all right. And then just start bolting it up. Okay, we got it full of oil. We went ahead and uh, pulled off the coil packs, four spark plugs, sprayed the cylinders down with some PB Blaster, and went ahead and cranked it over. I filled it up with oil. We cranked it over, made sure the oil filter was filled, put a new oil filter on it. And then I cranked it over until we got oil out of the feed line for the turbo. And you can see the puddle down there. That way, we know we've got oil pressure. We'll get the oil pulled up, and you know, I got my new uh, dipstick funnel, which is that bright orange piece right there. The damn things are expensive at Volkswagen, but you can buy them off the internet cheap, full of oil. So, just a matter of uh, we got the fuel lines hooked up, we got the injector in, the wiring harness in, vacuum lines hooked up throttle body plugged up. You know, you just go one piece at a time. It's all you can do. Fix it, put the coolant bottle in, hook the hoses up. And then tomorrow I'll get that piece for the exhaust because I can't go any farther today until I put the exhaust back on it. And then uh, we'll put the turbo and the exhaust manifold on. I will go ahead and recheck that timing belt again just to be sure and then I will go ahead and get a head gasket kit for this later put a head gasket on it, a new timing belt and then I might just sell that motor you know as a partial rebuild motor ran good, never used drop oil it's got no compression in three cylinders so it's definitely got a blown head gasket and then this looks like a mess in here don't it? a freaking bomb went off 1.8 parts everywhere. Alright, that's it for today.